I was looking for something that really was helping me to develop a real relationship with my pain instead of trying to bypass it. Right. Um, and I felt like, and I still feel this, that I felt, I feel that Buddhism was really kind, was actually extremely loving initially because it started with suffering. It's like you're suffering, right? Like that was, that's the first teaching, you know, there is suffering. That was the first teaching that the Buddha ever gave after his awakening. There is suffering and living and life. And I just felt like it was such a relief to find a tradition that wasn't trying to bypass what I was experiencing every day, right? And so, and then getting deeper into those teachings, it was like, yeah, you actually have to turn toward the suffering and the pain in order to experience liberation from that suffering and pain. And for me, the liberation was the, the awakening of space, spaciousness that actually holds all of this phenomena, right? Especially the pain, right? I just didn't have any space, right? Because pain was just one thing that was happening in my life. There were other things that were happening, but I just didn't have the space to focus on those other things because I was so consumed by the pain itself, right? And that's really the, the key lesson, the key teaching for me. And this is what I you know share with everyone is that liberation is about moving into and leaning towards, not running away. Like the more we run away, the more the pain and the suffering just um, it 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 grows even more intense, right? You know, you keep pushing it away, and it just goes off and grows, <laughs> right? And then finally, when you turn back towards it, it's this huge mountain of pain, you know. And but it's still possible to work with, right? I just feel like the pain and our suffering is full of so much data, and so much information that's actually trying to help us. And we just don't necessarily have the support sometimes to really show up and to hold space for the teachings that our pain um, is trying to share with us, right? And so when, you know, meditation, for me, meditation early on, for example, was nothing but pain. Now, meditation wasn't painful, but it was the act of paying attention to all this stuff that I'd been trying to push away that felt unbearable, right? And it took me a while to get past that, to, to understand that I wasn't creating more suffering for myself. I was just actually, for the first time, paying attention fully to the suffering and how overwhelming that felt.